Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Thursday, May the 2nd. Ooh, man, it's like we just get into the integration stitching pattern and we get another blast of full body, high intensity, high vibration energy. And this is coming in hot, friends. What I got with this energy this morning is this is the energy of change, bringing in change for many, many, many of us today. This started at about 1 a.m. Central Standard Time and is still going currently. So if you are starting to feel an urge to do something different in some aspect of your life, welcome to this energy. This can also manifest as a feeling of nervous anticipation, kind of like I know I need to do something, but I don't know what. It can also give you some anxiety and nervousness because it is a high vibrational energy and you are a lower vibration than this energy. So as you try to integrate this higher vibrational energy, it can stir up a lot of anxiety for you because the vibrations don't match. But that's okay, try not to freak out, try to stay present and give yourself time because it does take time to integrate this type of energy. But the big headline here with this is change. This is the energy of change coming forward to encourage you to start making positive changes in your life to move you towards where you actually want to be versus where you are. And it's happening in many, many aspects, relationships, professional, personal relationships, all of these things are being affected by this energy. So pay attention to the urges you're getting today. Where are you feeling unsatisfied in your current life situation? And where do you want to be in the future? Physical symptoms for this can be all over the board depending on you and your energy. Uh, if you are having a lot of lower back pain, then usually that's an indication of the sacral chakra needing some evaluation. This is the home to intimate relationships. Lower body pain, feet, legs, knees, that sort of thing, that's all tied to your root and there are some base teachings that you need to examine. Indigestion, pressure in the chest, skipped heartbeats, this is heart chakra activation and maybe there's some forgiveness that needs to happen in your heart or maybe some guilt that you need to let go of. All of this is related to how you are feeling and where the energy is having trouble integrating. The way your physical body feels is really a great indicator of where you need to focus to do the work. So it just depends on how you're feeling in your body. And if you're having no symptoms in your body, congratulations, that's wonderful. That doesn't mean you're not getting the energy. It just means for this particular batch of energy, you don't have anything resistant coming up towards it. This energy is well reflected in our cards for today. The first card that we got was the tower card, the disruption and ending of something old so something new can begin. A lot of people are fearful of this card, but I'm telling you, don't fear the tower. When the tower disassembles, this is the house you were given coming down so that you can build the house that you want instead. Don't fear the tower. This tower moment comes forward to offer you a feeling of liberation around some aspect in your life. Somewhere that you feel stuck and you don't want to be anymore, the tower moment comes along to sort of disassemble this so that you can recreate what you want for yourself, better reflective of you. While this tower moment is happening, you are asked to focus on those youthful emotions, the optimism, the looking at the world with bright eyes, the other perspective, starting to look at things like, why is this happening for me instead of why is this happening to me? Because when you say, why is this happening to me, you put all the power outside of you as if you have no control over anything. And while you may not have a lot of control over the events that are happening, you have 100% control over your response to the events that are happening. As you shift how you feel about this tower moment, you begin a new paradigm for yourself, putting yourself in control of your life, making yourself the driver in your own car and the main player in your own play. Putting yourself first is what comes forward with this new paradigm, opening the door to the world and putting it right at your feet. This card is all about embracing the opportunities presented to you, no matter how disruptive they feel in the moment. Remember, sometimes those tower moments are hard to understand when they happen, but when you get space from it, you can look back and go, oh, that wasn't good for me, and I see why it needed to stop. But of course, that doesn't make it any easier while it's happening. I get it. We have a beautiful sunrise here this morning. The birds are out and singing, and the sun is absolutely gorgeous out here. Little bit of clouds, and that's okay, because I love the rain to bring the new flowers for May. 
But as you walk forward into your day, even if you are having a tower moment, even if there's some disruption happening in your life, do yourself a favor and stop and give yourself permission to be present, to, ima to remember how amazing everything is around you, the birds, the trees, the food that you eat, the clothes that you wear. How amazing is this stuff? And don't forget that today, today is a great day, friends. It's a great day.